and we watching empires be affected. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? Because I saw you leave like a you know nice comment for Cassie. Yeah. With everything that's been happening with Diddy. I can't wait. I can't wait for everybody to find out what's really been going on in the background. Prepare yourselves for the revelation of what's truly been happening behind the scenes as the scandal of the century unfolds. Seam Diddy Combs is facing unprecedented scrutiny with disturbing accusations of trafficking and abuse. Federal investigators have descended upon his opulent properties in Los Angeles and Miami, leaving no stone unturned in their pursuit of truth. Sandra, this is going to turn into a huge scene that is going to be an all-day thing, and it involves, yes, P. Diddy. The home is actually registered to Bad Boy Film. In a high-stakes operation conducted with helicopters and a flurry of uniformed officials, they were seen hauling away boxes believed to contain crucial evidence, intensifying the drama in what is shaping up to be a sensational legal battle. What triggered this unprecedented crackdown? The Department of Homeland Security, armed with a warrant from the Southern District of New York, seems to be unraveling a disturbing and intricate web of allegations involving both women and men. Cassie Ventura, Diddy's former girlfriend, sparked the investigation with her initial revelations. Bombshell lawsuit claiming physical abuse. We all saw it posted yesterday all over our social media pages. Cassie filed a lawsuit in New York City against Diddy. She's claiming she was stuck in a decade-long cycle of abuse. Even though Diddy's team brushed off her allegations as an unfounded extortion attempt, the confidential settlement they agreed upon only served to heighten public suspicion that... That he controlled every aspect of her life. He is accused of frequently beating her and would hide her in hotel rooms for days until the bruising and signs of abuse were gone. As the music mogul's empire faces collapse, his most trusted allies maintain a conspicuous silence. Nick Cannon, once a staunch supporter, has refrained from publicly defending him, while Stevie J's remarks have only added fuel to the fire of controversy. Amid reports of Diddy seeking refuge in the Bahamas, The world watches eagerly, pondering whether this marks the start of the hip-hop icon's downfall. Will he vindicate himself, or is this merely the beginning of a larger crisis destined to tarnish his legacy? Stay tuned as we delve into the unfolding drama of this captivating saga. I think it's just, uh, man, and uh, as we all sit here, we've been in this game for a long time, Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of things that we probably don't know the details on but we nick cannon finds himself amidst a storm navigating a delicate balance of loyalty and self-preservation despite diddy's steadfast support during cannon's own downfall over anti-semitic remarks the television host's recent comments reveal a struggle between his allegiance to diddy and the intense scrutiny of the public eye cannon's reluctance to openly support diddy is significant particularly considering their shared history when I was facing challenges, he reached out, stood by me. Cannon admitted on his podcast, this feeling of obligation weighs heavily on Cannon, yet his hesitant defense suggests deeper concerns and a potential desire to create distance. When you start to hear stuff, you don't know how to feel mm-hmm. because like, you know these people or you've right. seen it and I'm like, damn, is that what was going on? Fans and critics are scrutinizing every word from Cannon highlighting his noticeable avoidance of outright support. On one hand, he expresses sympathy for Cassie Ventura, the catalyst in Diddy's downfall, acknowledging her pain and suffering. This is someone who was hurt, who was victimized. Cannon remarked, emphasizing his personal connection to both parties. However, his comments are infused with an evident struggle. I don't know how to feel about that, he admits, encapsulating the conflict that many of Diddy's associates might silently share. It's like a family member when you hear something happen, like, damn, I don't agree with the behavior, but I care for the person. Right. This delicate equilibrium underscores a broader dynamic within Diddy's inner circle. With more allies withdrawing into the shadows, the murmurs of betrayal grow louder. Is this a calculated maneuver to protect their own careers and reputations? The... You know, when you think about Diddy, like, think about all that Diddy has done for the culture. Indeed. Just, just not, we are not him as the person, or because... 30 just, years of timeless music in yeah. the moment. In the entertainment industry, loyalty is often conditional, and with each day that passes, Diddy's increasing isolation becomes more apparent. 
raising questions about his once indisputable position at the pinnacle of the music world. Stevie J, the triple Grammy award-winning music producer and longtime friend of Diddy, now finds himself navigating turbulent waters, torn between his allegiance to Diddy and the growing allegations. Stevie's recent remarks provide a glimpse into the inner turmoil within Diddy's inner circle. Despite dismissing the allegations as a money-making scheme orchestrated by Lil Rod and his attorneys, Stevie's discomfort is unmistakable. I find it funny that, you know, when they first cru try to crucify somebody, they go through the media first, and they're just flooded with lies. During an interview with Lisa Evers on Fox VI and I, Stevie described the raid on Diddy's Miami estate as traumatizing and overwhelming, portraying a man deeply shaken by the unfolding events. Amidst the chaos, Stevie attempts to extend support to his embattled friend, asserting, my man would never break the law. We're law-abiding citizens, that's what we do. You know, this is another crucifixion of a black man, echoing Diddy's own claims of innocence. However, beneath the bravado, there's a palpable sense of uncertainty, a realization that the once unbreakable bond between Diddy and his allies may be weakening. Meanwhile, Huber Gooding Jr., another peripheral figure in Diddy's circle, finds himself thrust into the spotlight under less than favorable circumstances. Accused by Ronnie Jones of misconduct during a New Year's Eve encounter aboard Diddy's yacht, Huber vehemently denies any wrongdoing. In an appearance on the PBD podcast, he recounts his shock upon waking up to news of Diddy's homes being raided, vehemently distancing himself from the unfolding drama. It's funny because my lawyers said, you know, every outlet in the world wants to talk to you. And again, I'm like, I'm not defining myself from some headline in the press. Denying Jones' accusations as a mere attempt to seek financial gain, Huber portrays himself as an unwitting pawn in a larger legal strategy. Despite being listed as a defendant in Jones' lawsuit, Huber steadfastly maintains his innocence, asserting that he and Diddy are merely acquaintances with no close ties. They were acquaintances just like I just showed you. Yeah. Two, three times I've seen him, so it's... Oh, so Diddy, you've only seen him two or three times. That's what I'm saying! Accused by Rodney Jones of misconduct during a New Year's Eve encounter aboard Diddy's yacht. ...served to intensify speculation as conflicting accounts of their interactions emerged raising questions about their alleged acquaintance. Huber's narrative adds another layer of complexity to an already tangled saga. As the net tightens around Diddy, his associates scramble to salvage their reputations, leaving behind a cloud of uncertainty and suspicion. Adding to the intrigue is the silence from Diddy's other high-profile friends. There's not a word from Jay-Z, often regarded as a mentor and confident. Beyonce, typically reserved in public, remains enigmatic, her silence conspicuous amidst the chaos. This collective silence suggests an industry holding its breath, waiting for the dust to settle before taking sides. As the gravity of the situation becomes clearer, it's understandable why Diddy's associates are scrambling to distance themselves. Rumors swirl of potential life imprisonment for the hip-hop mogul, casting a shadow of incarceration over all connected to him. Legal expert Nima Ramini Though not directly involved in the case, Starkey warns that there's no plea deal that could result in a light sentence or probation if prosecutors are successful in proving the charges. The specter of prison looms large. Federal agents, armed with warrants and a mission, raided Diddy's opulent residences, leaving no stone unturned. While their pursuit initially focused on sex trafficking, potential gun and firearm charges added further complexity to the rapper's legal quadmire, Ramini draws chilling parallels to other high-profile cases, suggesting that Diddy's saga could mirror the infamous downfall of Jeffrey Epstein or R. Kelly. Man, I ain't gonna lie. As the investigation escalates, the circle of suspicion expands. Diddy's ex-girlfriend, Kessie Ventura, catalyzed a chain reaction with her lawsuit alleging a decade-long pattern of sexual and physical abuse. This initial revelation sparked a firestorm, with more alleged victims coming forward, each narrative adding momentum to the burgeoning scandal. Ramini's grim assessment of the situation paints a bleak picture. Under federal law, 
a conviction for even one count of sex trafficking carries a minimum 10 or 15 year prison sentence. But what if there's more to the saga than meets the eye? Eddie Griffin, never one to shy away from controversy, offers a theory that's stirring speculation. Griffin believes there's a shadowy game at play, with powerful figures orchestrating the downfall of their proteges, disposing of them like pawns on a chessboard. Could it be that Diddy's once loyal allies are now turning against him, fearing their own exposure in this tangled web of scandal? And, and they, 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 they sacrificed and did it. They, they said, you gotta take this because we, 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 we can't be involved. Contributing to the speculation, comedian Andrew Scholes echoed Griffin's thoughts on Joe Rogan's podcast, suggesting a potential deeper conspiracy at play. Nowadays, everyone's a conspiracy theorist, Scholes remarked delving into the notion that the federal raids on properties might not solely target Diddy, but could also serve to safeguard the reputations of other influential figures. Could Diddy be inadvertently ensnared in a broader power struggle, with his associates hastily attempting to eliminate any potentially incriminating evidence that could implicate them? There's layers upon layers. <laughs> when you get into these fucking conspiracy theories, man, they, they never end. They never end. There's just layers upon layers. The speculation doesn't end there. Rumors circulate that Diddy himself might be considering a deal with federal authorities, offering up his associates in exchange for leniency. Is this why some of his closest allies are distancing themselves, fearing they might be the first to face consequences? It's a tantalizing theory, adding yet another layer of intrigue to the already convoluted narrative. Amidst these swirling rumors and conjectures, one thing remains certain. Diddy's empire is crumbling, and the fallout threatens to engulf everyone in its path. With each passing day, the stakes rise higher, the tension thickens, and the whispers grow louder as the saga unfolds. The world watches with bated breath, waiting to see who will emerge unscathed and who will be consumed by the flames of scandal. Stay tuned as we continue to uncover the twists and turns of this gripping saga. As the storm around seeing Diddy Combs rages on, fan reactions provide a fascinating insight into the public's perception of this unfolding drama. Fans speculate about Nick Cannon's role in the saga, with one commenter ominously suggesting Nick's involvement as well. This sentiment underscores the widespread scrutiny facing not only Diddy, but also those in his inner circle. The prospect of Diddy facing incarceration adds a layer of morbid curiosity to the mix with one fan cynically quipping about prison media's potential updates on Puffy Diddy's life behind bars. But what are your thoughts on Nick Cannon's stance amidst the scandal? Do you believe his hesitation to publicly support Diddy reflects genuine concern or strategic distancing? And what about the speculation surrounding Diddy's other high-profile friends like Jay-Z and Beyoncé? Why do you think figures of their stature remain conspicuously silent? We want to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below and let's keep the conversation going. Until next time, stay tuned as we uncover more twists and turns in this gripping saga.